Hi, this is Brandon from Tay Talk Tech here, and I'd just like to say welcome to the channel. This is my first uh, YouTube video. Um, so for my first YouTube video, I do want to go ahead and cover um, creating an OVA image of an operating system uh, in uh, Oracle's VirtualBox. So kind of the reason that you may want to create a um, OVA file or an image of a file is because you know if you want to use it as a baseline or you're planning on using it for uh, creating um, you know new machines and, and things like that in the future I will be using it for testing purposes um, just every time I want to test something because the primary uh, Linux operating system I do like to use is pop OS so this will give me a give me the opportunity to go ahead and um, test you know different things uh, as well as use it for future videos and things like that now it's a pretty straightforward system, pretty simple, two, uh, two gigabytes of RAM, two, uh, two processor cores, uh, and then just a 20 gigabyte um, uh, hard drive. Uh, it's a now as far as how you want to go about doing this is the first step that you want to go ahead and do is come up here to the file and then go down to export appliance right now the only one that I have is going to be the pop OS um, image so I'm gonna go ahead and hit next under here I'm gonna go ahead and leave everything as the default if you do have a different location you want to save it to go right ahead and do that I'm gonna go ahead and just save it uh, to that document so we'll be moving it to an external drive at a future point in time I'm not gonna include the ISO image I just want to basically be able to go ahead and go up to file, import, and then go ahead and import the image. So we're going to go ahead and hit next. And then we're at this point in time ready to go ahead and finish everything up. So go ahead and hit export. Now what I'll go ahead and do at this point in time is I will go ahead and just fast forward through the next uh, portion of it because it can take anywhere from uh, you know just a, a, few, uh, a minute to a few minutes. So just be patient with it and let it do its thing. all right now you can actually see that that is done and if we go up here down to our files into documents and there is our pop os ova all right so it's good to go uh, in the next video i'll go ahead and show you how to actually uh, import th that ova file so i do thank you very much for uh, viewing this video. If you do like the content that I'm putting out here, go ahead and subscribe, toss a like on it, or dislike if you didn't like the video. Uh, thank you and have a great day.